everyone it's Angela here very warm welcome again to my channel today we're going to do a really quick little video so I hope that you're keen to follow along if this is your very first time here I just want to say a very warm welcome and I hope that whatever you see today gives you a little inspiration and that you have, uh, have a go and trying this and put it into one of your own journals right I'm working on a um wedding album or journal so that's what i'm doing but of course you can work on absolutely anything that you like i'm using my to have and to hold journal collection which is journal pages add-on kit and um sentiments and ephemera so that's what i've got today i've got a really quick project and i know that any of you can do this so whether you're a beginner or you have been journaling a long time i know that you're going to like this one really easy to do very quick right this is uh, i've mocked up one here at all i've got one made already that i've just done and i'm going to share with you how we are going to make another one to put into my other signature as well so we're effectively doing two um okay so i've got this one here i've used um some beautiful pages um from my lacy page collection um this particular page can also be found in the to have and to hold journal pages um but i've got 10 more um varieties in a separate kit called uh, the lacy background pages so i'll put the link in the bottom of the description box for you if you're interested um you've got a 12 page selection of lace pages in various very soft muted pastel shades which can go with absolutely any journal that you make so i'm using two of them today okay so this is like a pinky peach one and we've got like a lovely spring green all right so um i've taken the sheet of paper i've trimmed off a little bit um and i've i've made this sort of flip out here um i've cut a window i'm going to show you how i do that today really easy use some recycled um packaging put on these little bits you can use um fussy cut flowers they don't have to be die cuts put on a butterfly little pearl um one of my little sentiments there um, and in here I have put in little journal card. I've backed that on with my lacy paper, another one of my firm favorites. Um, and that just slides into that there. You open that up, you've got a lovely area because this page is such a muted shade. You can write on there, stick a lovely photograph in here. You've got a little pocket over here. We've got two bits of ephemera, one from my ephemera kit and one I've just quickly made from a scrap. Those go into that little pocket over there. Got some lovely ribbons from Plum Boutique. This is a beautiful variegated silk one. And then I've got a little tag in the back here, which I've just added a little uh, circle and an eyelet to put on another piece of beautiful ribbon and backed it. And that goes into the back pocket over here. So a really quick and easy one to do. You could make loads of these. Um, without the tags and stuff and have them on hand for various journals whenever you've got paper remaining all right so that's what we're going to do here this is the one i've made for this journal uh, just behind the belly bands which we did the last time so i'm going to move that one aside and we're going to um put that as i said just to, to the side and i want you to grab a piece a sheet of paper whichever paper you're going to be working on and what I want you then to do is, um, this is eight and a quarter inches in width and I need a length of 10 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up here on my board. You can use your paper trimmer um, or whatever it is that you like to use. I'm just marking at the 10 inch mark and then because my board is pretty easy to use if I can just get it straight on here that helps doesn't it so there we go um, I can just use the lines which is really easy and I'm using a craft knife but you can draw a pencil line or a new of scissors right so hang on to that bit I'm sure we'll find something um, to use that for okay now what I'm going to do is just take this paper it's only printed on the one side um, I use a 160 GSM paper. This is um, a Hewlett Packard Coloured Choice is my paper of choice. So I want you to fold that in half that way and fold it in half the other way as well. 
All right, so just get those lined up there. And I use my nails because I can't put my head under the camera to see if I've done it properly. All right, so we've got that like that. I'm going to just burnish that with my bone folder. Everything looks pretty well lined up. And then I'm going to just decide do I want this or this, what do I want? Doesn't really matter. And then what I'm going to do is I just want to meet those corners on that side. Um, like that. We did fold it already, but I'm just making sure that I've, I've got that in, in the spot. So we've got like a card opening and we've got our openings at the top over here. All right, now this is going to be the front. So... I'm going to open this up all the way um, then I've made myself again a little template uh, it's just a piece of packaging I've cut it out this is a window envelope uh, template a <laughs> window envelope it is two and three quarter inches that way and two and a quarter inches that way so I'll write that that's 2.75 by oops 2.25 inches if we're wanting that in centimeters you are looking at seven by six so you've got seven by six centimeters right there or thereabouts this is not an exact science so we don't have to be so precise right what i do now is i just take that little template like this, I'm just gauging this, that I've got the same sort of distance on these three sides. Um, just wanna hold that in place. And I'm going to just run my pencil, or, oops, that moved a bit, around the edges, like that. All right, um, hang on to those, that's always great to have. And now we've got our little window placement there. I'm going to um, take my craft knife. You can use your scissors and just make a hole in the middle here. Um, but I, 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 you know me, I like to use a craft knife. I've used one for years, so I'm quite comfortable with it. And I have never cut myself with it. So, you know, as long as you take care of the blade and you, you take your time and look what you're doing, you'll find it to be one of the most versatile tools you'll ever use so i do like using this now i might not have got all the corners but i have so there we've got a little piece there and i'm just going to put that to the side right so we can take that out the way now i've um, got my distress ink because my sponge is looking like it's had better days um so i'm just running this um, over the inside lightly this is a very light color so you don't really want to um, make it too dark with the distress ink but you know that's all personal choice all right there we go so I've got that there that's the front remember that's the back um, and we've got our little window ready to get its little um, layer on <laughs> i nearly said glass uh, right so we've got that there i'm going to turn this over i have taken this i'm working from the same piece of packaging i've been working with for all the projects i've shown you with windows so this is just a piece of packaging and you probably can't even see it um, it's just slightly bigger than this window here so i'm just going to take my um art glitter glue and i'm going to just run some glue um along the edge here now I'm not going too close to the actual edge um, because it does sort of smear out a bit when you are working with this. So I just want to make sure that I've got it where I need it. See it sort of spreads out so then you don't want that oozing onto the window itself. Right so we've got that done. So there's your little window already. Happy with that um yeah so and then what i'm going to do is uh, ever so quickly you can take your glue with pleasure um and go and run some glue there 
and run some glue down there but i am going to just stitch down there and down there just to make this um a double pocket and i'll see you guys in okay a so i've just stitched around those three sides it's still open at the top there um and i just like to run my bone folder over the stitching just to flatten it so you don't have a um unattractive sort of surface on the underside of the stitching so i've got that done okay so there we have it that's the inside that's the outside now i don't like a white window and i should have done this before because i've made one and I, I did think and i knew when i was stitching i thought ah that's what i forgot to do so i've just got a piece of one of the background pages from the journal kit it's like the old gold and i want to just put it um, behind the window there just so that when you take out the journal card that you don't see that um you can double print this but i hadn't double printed this so i'm going to just open this up it's still a wide area so easily done and then i want to just get that in there definitely would have been easier to do if i had um, not sealed this up and yeah there we go okay Right, so we've got our little backing piece in there. Now, um, it's really a quick, quick little job, this. Not difficult at all. So you could really make quite a few of these um, and have this section ready made, you know. Um, and the rest can come afterwards. So get them rolled off. Now, I've got a little sentiment here, and I like this one. I think this one is my JK Rowling one. Um... Yes, I would rather share one lifetime with you than face all the ages of the world alone. Oh, it's J.R.R. Tolkien. I love that. From The Hobbit. And that is a very true saying. So if you've ever felt like that, that's amazing. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put a butterfly on this one. We'll see. I've got different options here. Now, I've just got a few bits and pieces. Um, I've taken these small flowers, and if you've got a little paper punch, you can use these. And I like the delicateness of these little flowers. These come from the spring foliage die cut. But as I said, you can, all, you can get lots of paper punches that are this sort of um, shape. So it's always a good one. It just gives those little finishing touches, doesn't it? So these are the light polka dot paper, and this is just pink cardstock, and I'm just putting it on the end there. And then I thought um, I've got my lavender sprig. This is like a, a neutral beige color. Um, and I've got the aloe vera basil cardstock I've used, which is just a, a green sprig here. These are two of my really old um, die cuts. This one with the lavender is the wildflower dye. It was the first one I ever bought. And I do use these. Gosh. It's amazing that they don't go blunt. <laughs> well, if they do, they haven't for me yet. Uh, and I use them a lot. I don't think they do. Yeah, so I've definitely got my money's worth out of these. Okay. So I'm going to stick that over there. We're going in slightly over the window, but I like that. So we'll just move that like that. And then this little bit over here. Gosh, we've got a lovely sunshiny day and I see that things are starting to bloom here. Um, so spring is definitely on the horizon. And officially, I think spring is the 22nd of March here, yeah? um, if I'm not wrong um so yeah i think officially spring is here as of next week so let's hope that um we meant to have a sunny week now you see i'm not sure if i want to i think that's not the right color otherwise it could have been all right so that's why if i had a pink one and i don't i've got all the other colors <laughs> i've used all the pink ones i'll have to make more if you haven't seen me make those little butterflies from flower uh, flowers then go and have a look and I've seen some lovely examples of different flowers that people used 
in my Facebook group and I absolutely think they've turned out fantastically. So go and pull out those flowers because I know you've got them in your stash somewhere doing nothing and make little butterflies. Right, so we got this little butterfly instead and while I'm sitting here, I'm just going to um, put on some of those pearls. So here's one of them. Just want to put on one over there because you know it's those little details that add, make all the difference. These little flat back pearls. So here's one. Oops, they move around too much now. And then another one for the little flower. Oops. There we go. Right, so there's that bit done. Okay, now we want to just turn that over while that's drying. And, and that's a great place to stick a lovely picture. Um, I think a lovely photograph would look great there. Right, um, not long now. Got these little pockets that I've just folded up. These come in the add-on kit and this one looks perfect over here and I <laughs> love that. Okay, so um, let's get this on. Just stick this glue on the edges here. I hope you guys are all well and having fun. Um, yeah, it just looks like it's going to be a lovely weekend of weather. And I'm going to have to tear myself away uh, because I know I want to go and get some sun rays outside because of all the rain we've had. So, yeah, I hope that you guys are having great weather wherever you are. And it's not too hot or too cold. So I'm thinking of you. Right, so let's get this stuck in over there like that. Pinks, all the pinks. And I suppose you could put other little bits on there, but I wasn't going to do that today. I've decided not today. Um, and all we want to do now is get this into our signature. So. All right, so we've got our signature. I've opened it up um, on this tea stain page and this page over here. And I thought, right, I'm going to grab my stencil. So I'm just moving that to the side. I'm going to use my Distress Ink Antique Linen. You can use this uh, any colours that you have around you. So go and be on the lookout for that. And I'm just using one of my, my Suprema lace dye. You'll find this on my Amazon favourites. I think it's a Finna bar or something. Um, so I've just got some of that there. And then I think what I'm going to do is, okay, so we can use that. Take another one of these little brushes. And yeah, so I'm just looking for a spot. Just want a little bit of it there. I want a bit of it there. I'm just doing little spots. You know, that looks good. And then we'll just have a bit of it there. There we go. All right, so you just want to put some stencil um, stencil on a little bit of a background. Gives it a bit of dimension. And now we want to stick this down. So I'm going to stick it like this, um, which is fine. The other one I did on the other side, but that doesn't matter. You can do whichever suits you. So I'm going to just... Um, you can stick this uh, all over with glue, which is what um, I'm, I'm going to do. Or you could just stick it on the three sides and have another pocket. But because there is a double pocket here already, I'm not going to worry with that. Okay, I want to just grip this and find where I want to place it. So I'm going to place it like that I think and then we can just press that all the way down okay so there we have that um, and that's the front and then this can go back there now um, while this is here and before I put anything in I'm just giving that a nice press um 
we're going to put some goodies in now. So I've taken uh, this journal card from my add-on kit. I've got in a little bit of a very soft pink uh, ribbon here. And I'm going to put that into this pocket just over here like that. Okay, and so you can see just the little rings and the hearts are sticking out. Now over here is a place for a beautiful photograph. And um, I've got two little bits. So we've got this little bit, a beautiful um, photograph I have from Worcester, which is where I'm from this area. And so I want to just put that over there. And then a little card I've made just with a die cut, a butterfly and a scrap of paper with this beautiful satin ribbon. I'm going to just put that in there. And then the pocket um, is over here. I've just taken a little tag. This goes at the top. And there you have it. All right. Um, you can put a little uh, goodie to hold that down or tie a ribbon around it if you wanted to. But I'm going to just flatten it with a heavy book. <laughs> And then it's going to lie nice and flat. And there you have it. You've got that one over there. And we have this one over here. So if I just move that over there and that over there, you can see the two we've done today. All right, really quick and easy. Um, so go and give it a go. Uh, I know you can do this. Uh, and it looks really lovely. And it's really simple. And you can make quite a few and have them on hand. All right, everyone, thank you so much for following along. Don't forget, I've got a great sale going on at the moment um, in my Etsy store, and I've got a couple of new kits there, so printed, digital, um, US letter, A4, and otherwise. So go and take a look, and I will see you very soon on Sunday with another little video. So stay well, guys, um, and thank you for everything. See you very soon. Bye. Bye.